Now we're heading into winter and for hospitals it's around now that outbreaks of norovirus can strike. Currently there's no vaccine to protect against the stomach bug. But that could change with a clinical trial getting underway. Volunteers are being sought from across the south. Sophia Seth reports from a clinic in Bournemouth. There's already vaccines for COVID and for flu, but soon there could be one for norovirus, also known as a winter vomiting bug. It's a stomach virus that causes sickness and diarrhoea. It can be very unpleasant for a couple of days and it spreads very easily. We've seen outbreaks in hospitals, schools and cruise ships. Should we go for this one? Yeah. Clinical trials have begun where participants like Alex are jabbed with either a dose of the vaccine or a placebo. He will then be monitored for a period of time. I'm all for it, yeah, yeah, very much so. You are 77. Does it worry you if you were to get norovirus? Yes, it does. At 77, I'm fairly fit and fairly healthy, but I did get nor norovirus. There was nothing there to help me. I would be really worried. So, Dennis, thanks for coming in today. Dennis is also taking part in the trial. It's giving something back. I, mean, I feel better with all the medication I have to take, going to get my prescriptions, knowing it's not all take. I'm able to yep. give however small a part just back again, and that's why I do it. Perfect. All done. So the vaccine trial is going to run for about two years um, and in that time we will pick up the cases of gastroenteritis um, and that will give us our end point so that will tell us whether the vaccine's working um, and it's only after that point we'll know uh, whether we'll be able to use this vaccine. Some hospitals have been using special cleaning machines to get rid of the virus. In hospitals it can lead to the closure of whole wards once patients and staff catch it. We have to go on to major incident staffing planning often because there'll be areas where there's no staff or very few staff so the staffing has to be shared out equally along the trust which means that there are areas that have staff that they're maybe not familiar with the ward and um, patients length of stay, huge queues in, in our admission areas and um, people being unable to get off ambulances and ambulance delays in the community. This clinical trial is not just taking place in Bournemouth, it's also in Weymouth, Portsmouth and Oxfordshire. It's open to those who are over 60, but the team here would really like more people aged over 80 to take part because it's that age group that are most significantly affected by norovirus and also the age group that would most likely benefit from a vaccine like this. The big question that many might be asking is when would such a vaccine be rolled out? It's really difficult to say for sure, however it does depend on how many cases of the gastroenteritis we do pick up, um, but it could be three years away. Sophia Seth, BBC South Today, Bournemouth. A service has taken